In today's Anime World Tower Defense video, we are going to be getting Song Jin Woo in this game. Now, you must be wondering, why am I making a whole video just getting him? Well, if you know, right now, the uh, solo leveling anime is popping off, and it is one of my favorite animes uh, popping off so far, and I've literally read all of it in, like, one day because that's how good it is. So, I recommend you go check out solo leveling if you haven't already, but today we're going to be crafting my guy Song Jin Woo, the Shadow Monarch. So, please do subscribe to the channel. and hit 20,000 subscribers, and watch they like the video, let's try hit 350 likes on the channel, and yeah, we're going to show showcase uh, how good he is um, what his cosmetic and his unit and things like that look like so maybe if you don't play animal title defense and you're watching this video but I'm gonna show you a little bit about the game and not just the game but how the unit Sung Jin Woo you know Shadow Monarch is like so the first thing we gotta do before we actually can showcase my guy Sung Jin Woo Shadow Monarch and how his cosmetic looks like how I'll look like how do you how good a unit is what the unit does things like that we actually need to obtain the unit so to obtain the unit I already have some of the items in this game if you do not play animal title defense I already have some of the items but I still do need to do a little bit of grinding so the first and the major thing I need to do is get uh, do some of these Sid raids the Shadow Realm Legend stages so um, I need some somber medals and I also need some shadow realm orbs so that's the first thing we're gonna do now a lot of people do struggle to do this but I I'm pretty sure well I'm 90% sure I can solo this since I've soloed it like five times so I just need to I'll show you guys a team that can actually solo it just for anybody that doesn't know how to solo this Sid raid because I feel like some people actually do ask for help with this raid so you don't have to use visionary but visionary is like the quickest way to solo it you can use other things like I don't know Yuta for example possibly actually I don't know if Yuta works but I think there's another unit but I forgot where it is like I can't remember off the top of my head actually I need to bring two farms so I'm gonna want to bring Peem to remove the stun and also heal the base you want a base healer you you need uh, you want to have two farms so you could because when Sid deletes all units, you want to upgrade them all again. Uh, I think I'm missing someone, but I don't really need them at the same time, so it's not really that serious. I mean, I'll just bring care symbol just for the sake of it. You don't really need to bring him though. And then if you go to uh, where is it? Legend stage, yes, legend stage, shadow realm. So I need four uh, four medals and 100k. What's it called? I just have the orbs so you can do insane and I'm not gonna sh uh, show me grinding I mean I show like towards the end and stuff but you guys are here to see something you're not here to see me grind pretty much but I'll show you the progress so yeah So apparently I forgot to have my mic on when I was um, actually obtaining the unit so I'm gonna have to do a little voiceover then showcase the unit again which is unfortunate but I actually forgot to wear the drip anyway so you know it's good and bad I guess but yeah I do craft the unit now after all that grinding which you've just seen unless you skip through it which I don't even blame you to be honest but yeah I was quite happy to see how it looked like I was hoping for a cutscene but I guess there was no cutscene for this unit I guess but it still looked very very cool especially the sword and things like that so yeah I was definitely a little bit hyped but yeah let's get into the showcase of the unit. Okay, so I'm back doing this again, so it's not my first direction anymore, but first we're going to showcase the unit looks very, very cool in my opinion, even as just the unit right there, but if you don't know, if you don't play this game, there's cosmetics for the unit, so his leader buff is pretty good, definitely buffs himself by quite a lot, 
so which is quite nice obviously then we can see the cosmetic is looking crazy now a lot of people got into me when i didn't put max graphics when showcase the cosmetic so we're gonna put max graphics so that looks better than it already does and damn like i'm not even glazing or like over exaggerating this looks in fire it looks fire it looks insane especially with the actual drip and it even says skill arise okay that's actually crazy let me just make sure i got all my settings on because we're actually gonna now do the showcase which is quite nice it's the fact that it even says the skill above i wish it did different skills every time maybe but uh, arise is the best one anyway so who even cares uh nice okay so i'm not gonna act like i don't know what's gonna happen but i did have a little bit higher hopes like it still met my expectations but some things i was hoping maybe happened than other things i guess but you'll have to wait and see what i'm talking about basically but i guess i literally i kind of had high expectations than i thought it was but yeah i'm gonna showcase the unit showcase how it looks and then it's pretty much it but uh, i'm saying pretty much it but that's like the best part i'm not even there yet so chill out don't get too don't get too jumpy to leave now okay so on placement if you guys care about his actual damage then he actually is an XP unit, so he actually gains XP from units that he attacks, which is quite nice. So if you do that bomb, he's getting XP. He even says the little skill above his name right now is doing a ruler's authority, which is kind of crazy for on placement. <laughs> but, he, but he's doing one of his most powerful skills on placement. It's a little bit wild, but I mean, yeah, and he gains XP, which affects his damage. So he gains more damage. So we've got a new move now. We're going to see what the new move looks like for the VFX. And what is it? Uh, is that mutilate? That's the one with a bunch of slashes. I'm pretty sure through the the mon one. Then you understand, I guess. Okay, next one, dagger line. That's where you dash a bunch of daggers. Yep. Uh, and so he's still getting XP, which is quite nice. So he's pretty much getting infinite attack, I guess, if he just keeps doing damage, as long as he's the one in range of doing damage. Okay, let's see shadow army. It just spawns a bunch of guys, jumps them, and then they're just dead. Okay. And then Max, now he has the Ray Shadow Army, and which is quite nice. If you've read the manual, you'll understand this. You'll have appreciation for this. If you have it, then you'll be completely confused. But uh, unless you watch this, like, uh, high end point in the anime, I guess. But as you can see, Rana's Igris. If you know Igris, you know Igris. If you know Baru, you know Baru. You know Kaizo, you know Kaizo. And I forgot this guy's August name. I actually forgot. It's not Iron, because Iron is the other guy. Uh, I genuinely forgot this guy's name. I'm not going to lie. He's, I see him Olga Magus. Is that actually his name, though? And General Yena, that's not his actual name. But you yeah, know, it looks very cool. And um, we're going to see the effects real quick. I want to see how they look. Okay, so it's just all of them attack at once, which is insane. They all have their own damage, individual damage, including Shadow Monarchs. Now, what, uh, what I wished and what is unfortunately not true is that when you click Arise, it doesn't like... It doesn't spawn in the enemies you've killed. It just spawns in its own thing. And it doesn't spawn in like a bunch. It spawns in a little bit once at a time. And I constantly do it for that the whole time, which is quite cool. But like, how do I describe it? It's not like what I, what I was expecting is like all the enemies that Sung Jun Wu has killed. Boom, they all just spawn. You know what I mean? That would be insane. Like, it all just starts spawning out of the back. All the enemies he's, he's killed start spawning. Because Arise is like you, you kill the enemy pretty much and then you make them your own so yeah it would have been cool i guess but at the same time at least it's at least it's something you know it's not there's nothing too much to complain about but i don't know what the skill fully does i know it just spawns in those things if that's just it then that's just it but there might be a little bit more to it so if you do play animal tower defense which you probably do if you're watching this video then um let me know what arise actually fully does because i generally do not know and i don't know there's nothing a wiki for this game so i'm a little bit bamboozled about that one but i mean yeah i think that's pretty much it that's uh, all things for century we let's just see the effects one more time come forth and oh wait so it says different each one says different ones okay i did not notice that yeah but i kind of like the little skill things that it says above the head it's quite creative so yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video if you want to see more maybe i'll play uh multiple games and get something who knows or maybe i'll play different games give me some video ideas uh, in this uh, comment section down below because i need some games to play man i'm not gonna lie uh i do play animal Tide defense all star but like it's not much i can really upload on those games at the moment so if you do have any other content ideas, do let me know in the comments and maybe I'll play those games. And if you did enjoy this video, please do let me know by subscribing. Comment down below what you guys think about Song Wu, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace.